Okay, folks, it's important to watch how bright they have. And also the, uh, you know, we're looking at the volcano over in Japan, right? And check out all the star action. I.e., can you see it yet? Now, there's a planet or a dark shadow here or a star flopping, okay? You can see that right there with my head and arrow at. And also this one up here. It's also a unique is what we're getting for a shot from the webcam because daylight, okay? This is a live webcam shot, okay? Check out the glow that they're getting over there off the sun and the super giants because look what normally should be. If I go away from this, there's where the daylight's at right now, okay? Now, I'm going to try to go ahead and you see... That's darkness, okay? Now that's the illusions. I'm figuring Japan is supposed to be somewhere down along here, okay? Because there's Australia down here, New Guinea, the Philippines. So basically, Japan is here, okay? This is lower portion of Russia right there and then here's the Aleutians coming around see it's dark right there right now and you can see my central standard time down here my clock down here 209 p.m. central standard time now that is a live webcam but it's unusual see this is where it's daylight in the world and I can spin earth around and this go thanks goes out to the dude that's got climate Tom I think his name is see there's darkness on the other side of the earth okay So we're going to come around. Japan should be dark, you see, right here. Okay. So let's pinpoint out on... Let me see if I go in here. I've never searched for a city on this map before. Okay. Here's the footage from over there right now, okay? So whether that's ash or not that's blew off the volcano, it's hard to tell. But for factual actual, you can see these star clusters popping in and out right there. And I guess it could be ash, but this is volcanic ash here, steam here more than likely. The white the steam. Maybe this is ash. Maybe it recently blew. But, i.e., it's sure bright there for this time of the day. So, we're getting a lot more earlier sunshine around the world that maybe people are not letting us know about. Because this is supposed to be live webcam, folks. Okay? So you're seeing what you see. And these stars do increase and decrease. You look at the areas and then the flopping up here in the darkness of the ash cloud. Right there. Those are stars up there. Also there. And also here getting propagated and flopping around. It's not for me for moving my cursor around. This whole area right here. And also up here, you can't miss the star flopping. So evidently we've got a lot of stars that flop and rotate a hell of a lot faster. Remember the, that the study found that that one they over in, there was a observatory over North Africa or South America or something like that that had discovered a star that rotates and they were arguing between NASA was saying it rotates 300 times faster than the sun and they the ones that really discovered it they said that it rotates 700 times faster than the sun so evidently we got way more than one star that does that as you can see this action is still going live up here 
and basically it's getting close to dawn over there okay there's another star right there doing its action so the theory is pretty coming down pretty rock solid that the idea that these stars are what's making these volcanoes active at least this one in Japan for damn sure and also the one in Hawaii if you've watched the videos I've seen on that so an awful lot of light from the stars when it's basically still supposed to be let's go see what the sunrise in Japan is today So they're getting a lot of light over there from this the, a bunch of stars in space and the supergiants and the moon, I guess, basically being full, but uh, very bright. Okay, and then the camera picks up real good because it's it's made to be able to see objects in the dark too. But uh, as you can see, you can almost be basically see the greenness of the trees and the and there's your sunrise. So basically, it's only 4:17:38 in Japan. Okay, when I first pulled this up, and you see the Central Standard Time, so basically it's 4.20 Japan time right now. As you can see, Central Standard Time is down here. Because when because when it's 3.44 Central Time, it's going to be 5.44 a.m. over in Japan. Okay, so like I say, it's 4.21 over there right now, because it's 2.21 here, p.m. Okay, it's a.m. over there in Japan. And they're getting some damn bright star action and everything because this is what you're getting over there okay and it's almost freaky that the idea that are they getting some kind of view of some huge optic in space like the meatball I mean I'm just throwing it out there this probably is just ash and steam from the volcano possibly but a very impressive look very early a.m. and like I say this is all starlight and stuff like that that's over there right now and I can go to full screen I guess that was working pretty good before there you go and you're gonna see this this is a, actually a planet or a star beating right down on the volcano right there folks and no my cursor doesn't change it we also seen this star here and there's another one there star there and there's stars all along all up in the sky and all over the mountain making all kinds of very unusual because basically it's nighttime this is all moon super giants and a camera that shoots in the dark pretty darn good okay but you can't miss all the star action moving around on the screen so a bunch of very fast rotating stars and planets glowing down on early a.m. over there in Japan this is live footage early a.m. and it's not even eaten up yet as I showed you some really wild action there so even some star action down here too so you can look all over the screen to find it. So and you can see them moving all over the sky. So they're getting a hell of a show over there besides just the volcano blowing up. So the webcam picks it up very well. All kinds of star action moving around up in the sky right above the volcano. I.e. right there. So, these links are always in my videos. Let me go show you that again real fast. Anyway, you go to uh, my videos. And basically, this is one of the showing the shadow down there again, and basically forgetting this year dome. You check that shadow out over there behind the building, and it's, no, it's not the building doing a shadow. Okay, go watch the video, and you'll see. Okay, so now 
you put some more and you'll basically be able to just click on anyone and basically that's camera seven I look at a lot and I'll just open up camera nine for the hell of it and take a look at, from, at camera nine pretty easy folks just go basically you go to one of my videos okay then you just go down and you click this show more tab and then it'll bring them up and I think I did get screwed up because when, when I'm going to my own one it'll do that where the, the links won't open up so I'll go back and so basically I go to this one and this is where I showed you basically that it was a 7.8 that it registered the Colombian quake and there's your camera links again they'll be in blue and then you can go ahead and click on click on them. Now I should have nine opened up already, so I'm not going to go up and click on it. And there you go. That's how dark it is, and there's how much star action is going on. And then you get a chance to see. You can see the clock, and that's Japan AM time. And then you can see the stars around on top of the on top of the uh, volcano and the mountain. And you see them moving, and the camera picks them up, and it's dark there right now. So on the other side of the mountain, which basically would be the east side of the mountain, you've got a lot of light propagation, a lot of star action on the other side. Heaps of light on the other side. So this is live footage right now, 2.29 p.m. And uh, you can see all the star action going on in the darkest of night. And you remember seeing the camera action that we saw you just a little while ago? That was the same today, live, basically still n night there. Dawn's going to be coming. And we'll go back to showing you on Climate Viewer that it is dark there. Okay? So they're getting early. There's the sun and the super giants. Basically, Alaraf is close to the sun right now, right behind it in alignment anyway massive distances away there's what we're all used to there's good old us of a north america canada and south america so rotate back around keep going with this and you'll see that japan there's the illusions up there and basically japan is if i think if i'm correct yeah, Japan's here. Okay, so it's still dark. Sun will be coming up in a little while, almost an hour. And you can back up the tape for the exact time. And I want to thank Climate Viewer again. It's great to be able to get on there and be able to see where the Earth is dark at. And so in Google, but basically he's been playing with the Java and the hardware and everything like that and the basically software. And he's programming all this stuff in where there's interested and everybody's watching these uh, sinkholes and drilling companies and messing up a bunch of land and everything down there in Louisiana and then there's all kinds of other stuff that you can open up and do all kinds check out all kinds of stuff it gives you all your links for your electrical action that's going on harp ionic sphere Low frequency transmitters, North American Doppler radar, observatories, telescopes, LIDAR, all kinds of arrays you can go to, okay, telescope arrays and satellites, so all kinds of stuff you can check out, and like I've been trying to give you all the data as I can possibly throw at you about the sun spiking. Close out with this wild star action going on, and it's dark over there in Japan, as I just showed you, so. And there's all this star action going on, a bunch of fast, rotating stars. So you can go to Worldwide Telescope, put it in the longitude and latitude, and then you'll be able to figure out what all these stars that are rotating so damn gone fast. You'll be able to know their names and be able to pick out and even look at the live footage and go from your Worldwide Telescope to this live footage of all that star action flopping around. Because it's not me, it's not my cursor that's making that flop around, it's all going on. So we'll just end up with this footage here. There's some dark blue underneath the 42 second mark going on up there too. There's a star underneath that. Because basically the...